This sea is a very dangerous one to navigators. The route in crossing the Red Sea, by Ali Bay, is thus described, we embarked in a Dao or Dao, at Jeddah. These Dao's are vessels of a singular construction of, their height being equal to the third of their length, which is increased at the upper part by a long projection at the stern, in the manner of the ancient Trojan galleys, the ropes are made of the bark of palm trees, the sail, of extremely coarse cotton. They carry three sails of various sizes, and two little smack sails, but never make use of more than one at a time. They sail almost continually between banks and rocks, above and under water, so therefore five men were required to keep watch constantly on the prow, to give notice to the steersmen of the shoals. Should they commit an error, or discover the shoal too late, or should the steersman misunderstand the cry, which sometimes happens, or not steer far enough from the danger, which he cannot see, or should he, on the other hand, in endeavouring to avoid it, run the vessel on the neighbouring bank, or, again, should the wind and current be too powerful to admit of his altering his direction in time, the ship would be dashed to pieces. As a precaution, these dows are built with a false keel, which breaks or lessens the shock a little, and if the weather be moderate, saves the vessel. The Red Sea, however, has its attractions for the traveller, which are observed to greater advantage in smaller craft or large boats. A more recent traveller says, we embarked at Mokafikosin, in a large boat, we were thirteen days running to Jeddah. The navigation is intricate. The shoals of coral numerous, but the water smooth and clear as pilot could desire. It was beautiful to look down into this brightly transparent sea, and mark the coral, here in large masses of honeycombed rock, there in light branches of a pale red hue, and the best of green seaweed, and the golden sand, and the shells, and the fish sporting round your vessel, and malling colours of a beauty to your eye, which is not your own. Twice or thrice we ran on after dark for an hour or two, and though we were all familiar with the sparkling of the sea round the boat at night, never have I seen it, in other waters, so superlatively splendid. A rope dipped in it, and drawn forth, came up as a string of gems, but with a life, and light, and motion, the diamond does not know. This luminous appearance, however, is probably confined to the spawning period, for all the travellers who mention it, visited the Red Sea between the latter end of February. Many pilgrims cross the Red Sea, and for their accommodation, if a penance of such a nature will justify the term, the master of the vessel runs the ship up the sand at a particular spot where the first duties of their pilgrimage are to commence, are and which are performed in the following manner. They throw themselves into the sea, make a general ablation with the water and sand, say their prayers while naked, then cover themselves from the waist to the knees with a cloth without a seam, which they call Iram. The vendor advance a few steps forwards towards Mecca, while altering the prescribed invocation, after which they form some little heaps of sand with their hands, embark, and repeat the same prayers during the remainder of the voyage. The Iram is the common dress of the Arabs, and Muhammad's design was to make all pilgrims appeared with due humility. During the time of their wearing this mortifying habit, which is about the space of seven days, it is held unlawful for them so much as to cut their nails, or to kill a louse or a flea though sucking their blood, but yet, if they are so troublesome that they cannot well endure it any longer, it is lawful for them to remove them from one place of the body to another, books from the moment, they must have their heads shaved, until they have made seven turns around the great house of God, kissed the black stone, trunk of the water of the sacred world of Zemzim, and made the seven journeys between the sacred hills of Safar and Morona.